At 530, local first responders making sure they're ready for anything that comes their way this hurricane season. News 6's Amanda Castro was there today as they prepared storm shelters in Seminole County. The county is making this as real as possible, as if a storm was hitting tomorrow, transforming the school into a medical facility complete with cots and all of the necessary medical equipment. Preparation is key. We learn things every time we do this. We learn things and Seminole County staff along with the health department are making sure they're ready for the next hurricane, kicking off a two day exercise, setting up and running a full scale medically enhanced emergency shelter here at Highlands Elementary School. Just like we would normally, we would close down schools, prep the school for the next day when we started to intake patients. Emergency manager Alan Harris says it takes up to five hours to set up each of the county's three special needs shelters, all equipped with backup generators and medical supplies. He adds they're one of the few counties in the state with enhanced medical shelters where they can offer more acute care to people with critical needs. We take patients with vents, trachs, uh, things like that, whereas a regular special needs shelter uh, would be uh, just machines, oxygen, uh, those types of things. The health department, along with nurses, are on site, making sure patients get the care they need. <laughs> Saying for many who come to special needs shelters during a storm, this could mean the difference between life or death, especially during a power outage. We have all of the devices and equipment that clients need to sustain so that in, in the event that anything happens, um, the continuity of care, we continue with that. Harris says so far more than 1200 residents are signed up for the special needs registry and he's encouraging those who need critical care to register now before the threat of a storm. We need to understand what to expect so that we can have the proper staffing. In Winter Springs, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.